Well, hey there team and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Help Will Come Tomorrow. As we pick up, the gamer uh, has, we've got a new dude and and we've all got matching jackets, it's great. We, 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 we're doing well, but the game keeps throwing crap at us and blizzards and, and renegades nearby. You just, just can't seem to win. I really would like to go search the woods for, for these things. Um, Make a torch and rope and check the caves. Okay, so we would have missed out on that previous mission. Sorry, I just I, I had to collect myself for a moment. So, searching for Petrusha is this one, I believe. And that's the cave that we found. And the thing that we're missing is rope. Because I believe we bring a torch with us normally. So there's something for us to work towards. I believe, did we bring meat home with us? Yeah, yeah, we did, and we cut it all up. All right, very good. Okay, so first things first, let's get unsnowing. Um, who's gonna be the best person for it? Not Stumpy McStumpsworth. Let's um, let's get Lady Violet on it. She's probably the go. Because uh, sometimes there's a chance that the tool lets them keep the AP. Oh, beautiful, good work, mate. And that's not snowed in, is it? No, 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 okay, so we just, a bit of maintenance. Um, that's all good and well. Uh, let me see. Because we're probably going to want to... I want to keep the visibility down. Uh, so if we do start a fire, I'm going to want to put it out. So let's see how the hunger situation is. So you're around 40, 50, uh, 30. Probably call that 40. Call that 40. So, yeah, yeah, 40, 40. 440s and a 50. All right. Might as well just give this to the captain. He always gets the best eats because he just gets the hungriest. <laughs> That's pretty much the methodology. Um, 50 for the smoked meat. But I think... I think we would get better results by cooking that. Having said that, the raw meat... The raw meat will perish so quickly. So I think I might take the time to smoke that meat... I think we can do four at a time, is that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we're gonna have to turn the fireplace on. Ah, Christ. Um, we'll just moss it up. Ten will do the job, because, like I said, we're gonna stamp it out overnight. Um, yeah, okay, smoked meat by four. Um, we'll give Stumpy a go. Nice. Good work, girl. Next! Um, I'll try and keep an expedition team if I can help it. Alright, cool. So that's that. Um, now we'll potentially make a stew. Now this stew will give us four, I believe. And you have to put two meat into it. Oh, that's a bit sad that um, it's going to be difficult like that. I wouldn't mind putting one of each. Um, oh, has the spoiling for that meat reset? It kind of has. Um, what other things can we make potentially? Just hold on to the meat for a hot moment. Soup, right? You've got the dried mushrooms. Um, well, hang on. We've got the dried mushrooms, which give you two food, and all these people are on forty, pretty much. Okay, so how about how about we do this? We make, I'll make a delicious stew, and use up this one meat, and then we can use something for herbs. Um, I don't know, let's use this St. John's wort. Um, yeah, cook that up. I think that'll give me two. Increases morale. I think everyone's morale is going to be off the chart, right? Look at that. Like, I've almost broken the game with my morale levels. Um, so... 
what we'll do is feed you, feed you, and you should be pretty happy with that, right? Yeah, good. Now, the other two blokes, you got like 30 plus change, right? 35. So, if I were to give you a dried mushroom, that should give you 20. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then you can have like a bloody a bug or something. Have some moss. <laughs> you have some moss, mate. Perfect. Look at that. It's probably not great for morale. Oh, his health is a bit low. Okay. Um, water, I'm sure everyone's going to need a drink. Definitely. So we'll just cook some more water real quickly. We'll get Stumperella onto it. She can cook some water. There you go. Not totally useless. Okay, cool. I think all in all, the food situation is pretty much taken care of with them, so that's good. Um, even though I'm going to send him on an expedition and he's cold, that's a little bit troubling. But, um... Nah, we'll do it. We'll do it. Um, oh, I need rope, potentially. Can Is that something that I can make here? Fabric alteration, rope, I need two out of four string, and I've got no canvas. Alright, so we're going to go look for Petrusha, and we're going to want to get a uh, canvas, if we can help it along the way. So we're going to do that, I'm going to put the two dudes up, okay, they're going to have, oh yeah, you can wear some clothes, that'll probably help, snowshoes, torch, you know, the whole shebang. I don't usually get lost, so... God, I shouldn't say that. I've never really said that before. That's problematic. Okay. Send. We want to go over there. Uh, canvas low. Canvas low. Let's, we'll go here. Safe. Search. Oh, there we go. Got a ch big chunk of canvas. So it's already a bit of a success anyhow. Dangerous. Dangerous and safe. Why are you dangerous? Now we'll go here. Okay, the sharp metal will come in helpful. Safe, dangerous. Oh, a few sticks, not that great. Oh, we do docked a lot of points for lost probability. Where is Peter? Although it is scary to wander the area that the renegades often patrol, you've decided that you must know the fate of young Petrusha. By the tracks, it was easy to see the signs of the chase, but the further into the forest, the worse it goes. You found two bullet shells, but no blood traces anywhere, and that's good because it means that the robbers missed. At some point, they probably separated. A larger group followed the boy, and one lone cutthroat seemed to be trying to surround the victim from the west. This does not bode well. Follow the hunt, or check the tracks from the west. What do we reckon about that? Let's check the western tracks. You reach mossy trunks once fallen by a storm or a blizzard. Something unexpected happened here. The renegade, who wanted to surround the fleeing Petrusha, ran into a pack of wolves. You can see the gnawed up remains of the thud between the drifts. There is also a pistol with a lock that cracked, disappointing its owner at a critical moment. Maybe you can repair it. Get out before it gets dark. Search longer. Oh, why would you do that to me, game? Search longer, let's go. Later, in the more clear wood, you come across a blood splash, signs of a scuffle and a lot of wolf tracks. Uh, T was fired several times here with a rifle. Oh, okay. The pack of the wolf ran north, or of wolves ran north, so it cut the tracks. No bodies can be seen. If the thug shot one or two wolves, they had to take their prey with them. And what about Petrusha? Did the renegades get him, or did he end up in the jaws of the wolves? 
You doubt more and more that he has survived, but for now, you have to stop searching. Okay. Well, that's something, you know? Zero to four loss probability. Oh, Christ, we've got no AP left, so we'll just go return to camp. Wait, what was that? Oh, it docked me points at the last second? You bastard. <laughs> okay, um, sure, sure. All right, well, we got bulk things, um, including the rag to make rope, which will be very helpful. Um, what we might do is we'll do, like, the care thing, because I believe care can still gather... Uh, can can cool them. No, no, no. I think we need to switch. I want to put the captain in there, and I want to put you in there. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Nice. Um... <clears throat> What we got left? We've got two AP. We'll gather strength with Miss. Because we're gonna we're gonna have to sleep in the dark, so. Um Who's worse off of all of you? You guys are much of a muchness. He's doing alright. Um Yeah, we'll just gather strength on yourself, mate. Um, oh, and we've got a care from her. Ah, uh, we'll do the captain. Uh. Ah, uh, nice. Did that, uh... Okay. Um... Okay, cool. Everyone's fed and watered. We'll snuff out the fire. Um, I suppose these two don't have any status markers yet, so they can sit out. The girls and the boys can get cozy. And, uh, and then I guess away we go. The train is coming. Oh, jeez. In the evening, the gale begins again, and the frosty ice spikes circulate in the air, creating a white wall impenetrable to the men's sight. The purga covers animal passes, frozen streams, holes, fallen trees. It's dangerous to walk in the woods now, because the wanderer not only loses the orientation, but also risks twisting or breaking his leg. After so many days of the blizzard, you have learned to recognize the sounds of the snowstorm. In this seemingly monotonous bang, you can finally catch all sorts of cracks, whistles, murmurs, and whirring. Each means something different. A dancing branch, a fallen tree, the turn of the wind, a snow cap falling, or one of the most deceptive phenomena, a temporarily weaken or temporary weakening of the wind, after which a sudden multiplied blast hits the light snow raises it and creates insane whirls in the air. Okay. In the evening of the 25th day after the crash, you caught a new sound. It's the whistle of a train coming. Jeez. The long whistle felt silent or fell silent. You wait all tense to see what it means. It is impossible to say whether the noise came from the eastern or western tracks. You must wait for the next signal. Then comes a low, prolonged rumble echoing throughout the valley. And another noise, the rumbling of broken railway decks, the squeak of jammed brakes, the terrible grinding of crushed metal. You know this cacophony. You heard it exactly 30 days ago when the renegades derailed your train. The train from Wai Chiander Bari Bari Blah arrived, but the train driver did not see the wreck in time and did not manage to stop or it did not manage to stop. Uh, the steam engine rammed in the remains of the second train and the cars crushed each other at the rear, pushed by enormous inertia. It's over, hope is gone. So what if there may be new supplies, clothes, or even shelter on the train? In this blizzard, you have no more strength to get up there or to get there. No more fighting against the adversity of fate, you give up. You let the fire go out 
and you close your eyes completely indifferent. Help can come even tomorrow, but it's whole eternity it's a whole eternity too late. Siberia lulls us to sleep. Really? Hmm. I'll tell you what, guys. This is a a bit of an example of writing yourself into a corner, I would think. Um Oh, okay, that's the dev team. Oh cool, they've got little stats. Nice. Um it's, it's hard not to have a knee-jerk Halo 2 ending moment throw your control across the screen because that was a cop-out finale, right? Um, the game has incentivized us to hunker down and build a new, uh, like, build a base. And um, and while there were missions, the, the one thing with this game is it never actually made it super clear what its end state was. Like, just think about games when you play. You've got an idea of what you're supposed to be doing. You know, it, it's supposed to drag you along narratively or what have you. With a survival game, survival for the sake of survival, that's legitimate. That's fine. And that's kind of how this game presents. But then all of a sudden, it's decided, no, no, there's an actual Doom timer. It's given us a few missions to help the railroad and all that, but it's also given us a whole bunch of banter from characters around the campfire saying about how hopeless it would be to try and stop the train and rah, rah, rah. So, like, I enjoy the grey component of the conversations that happen, but because of that, it doesn't give you a clear sort of delineation of what the objective is. It made me think, hey, we could help the train or we could not help the train. I mean, granted, I just was too busy to help that train, but um, it never it never really said, hey, if you don't do this, it's going to be game over. Or at the very least, if you wanted to keep it sort of feeling the theme, the characters should have just universally been like, yeah, 100%, that's what we got to do. No questions asked. We're, like, it never really signaled that to me. That's why the ending is a surprise. So, like consider i don't know if the devs ever watch this i'm probably one of the bigger youtubers playing this still right but like consider what you've done to your player they've sat through it they've they've suffered through it they've built up against sort of you know against the odds and tried to claw out and eke out the thing and, and they're doing everything they can as each day comes and then you have just said it's game over bad luck and we didn't explain to you well enough why this would happen but funnily enough this is what happened with the last time that we lost as well so a part of me wants to be really angry, to be perfectly honest, because that's like, it's not malicious. It's not like they're going, ha ha, life's hard, right? But what is it? It's a short-sightedness. Like, I don't want to say laziness. They've obviously worked very hard on the game, but you have to wonder, it's like, how can you build such a core product and then just it's not even that the landing was misguided or controversial. It's just like, hey, we don't know how to end this, so we're just going to end it abruptly and stick a bloody end screen on the end. You, you, like, it's it's cheap, and it's such a shame because so much of this game is really solid. Um, I, it just feels like they didn't figure out how to finish their game. I would be really curious if uh, maybe there were budget constraints and all that. Like, this doesn't actually seem like a creative choice made incorrectly. Have a look at the core of the gameplay, and even the writing with the language barrier I've commented on, it's been quite provocative, it's been quite interesting, right? But this is like a glaring problem with the game, and I think given what they've shown in all areas, graphically, gameplay, uh, story, writing, everything is really good in this game, but for it to shank the finale at the finish line like that, that doesn't actually make sense. It's not like that was a different team or something like that. I truly think that they came up with a core game. I mean, I'm just making assumptions, but this is the one that seems sensible, is that they came up with their core, they got really good at it, but the problem with this, this stationary turtling game, which is what it is, is that you need to you need to encourage me to leave the base or, or do something to, to end the game. And I've got to wonder, like, I really hope it wasn't close enough is good enough. They're like, ah, who's going to finish the game anyway? Or whatever. We'll just chuck a half-assed ending on. you got to wonder if maybe they ran out of time and it was just one of those project creep sort of things. It's like, we can't do it before we ship or something like that. I know I'm giving them a fair bit of leeway on that. And I am biased because I enjoy it. But um, it's easier to judge a game if you were to say, 
Like, for example, if the writing and all the conversation that was piss poor in this, which is not, it's been, like I said, provocative, I think is the great word for it. It's been very interesting and well done. But if it wasn't, if the writing was clearly weak, which we see a lot in games, um, then I wouldn't be, I wouldn't even be that sore about the ending sort of just falling over. I'd be like, well, I mean, the writer was shit and they couldn't step up. But it feels like they had the capacity to write a cool ending. Um, yeah, I just... It's, it befuddles me. That's why I'm unpacking it so much, because you would think with all the pedigree... Well, I don't know about pedigree. I don't know any of these people. But with all the skills that they've put on display, that they would be able to end this earlier. Anyway, look, I think it was worth having a rant and sharing some thoughts. I still think this is a fantastic game. I've had a lot of fun with it. Um, going forward, because I'm, I'm not going to stop playing this, because you guys are going to keep watching it. And if you keep watching it, I'll keep bloody making episodes. So that sounds like a good deal to me. So going forward, I hate to have to do this, but I might Google it and see if I can find out if there's a guide or something like that. I don't want to cheat, but I want to understand what the ending is. Now, dear developers, if they ever hear about it, or even to my fellow, you know, gamers that are watching this, you know, th this is, that's not good. If I have to, if I have to go and Google to figure out how to finish your game, because your game is not explaining it properly to me, um, that's not really cool. And I've just played for hours and hours and hours in one playthrough, and there was an objective, and we clearly failed it, but they never made it clear that it was a main one. So that is a stiff lesson to learn, do you know what I mean? To have to have failed the objective and then go, hey, now you know, now you've learnt, now do another eight hours and get it right next time. No, 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 or save scum, and you can never build around save scumming. So I'm going to look into the ending and try and figure out how to reach the end state. And then we'll probably re-roll a new game. This is going to be a shorter episode. I'm not trying to fill it up with waffle, but as I wa talk, I realize that um, we did seem to get a bit of a grasp of it on that medium difficulty. Like, I would challenge the only reason we lost, again, is because the game abruptly decided to kill us and didn't tell us how to, how to win. Uh, but we had everything under control. We were well on our way. Um... So on the back of that, I'd be curious. I might let this hang for a little bit and see what you guys reckon. Perhaps we step the difficulty up. Um, you know, normally I wouldn't do that unless it was, you know, if you were New Game Plus and because you've beaten the game. But all things considered, I kind of I kind of consider that we beat the game there. I feel like um, we were killing it and the game didn't telegraph how to finish it correctly. But I feel like I'm going to talk around in circles. Um, obviously, I'm a little salty about the, the ending... Um, and how could you not be? You know, let's be a bit meta. I realise that I managed to wrestle with this game, grasp it with your feedback. You guys helped keep me on track. And we basically dominated the gameplay loop and, and overcome it. We, we beat the game uh, in brackets. Uh, and then to have the ending just pull a bloody, a fast one, pull an audible at the end, is it's, that's a slap in the face. I'd be curious if the devs realise what they did with that. Uh, I wonder, because how many people truly would finish this game? It's it's quite hard, and I know it's not super popular. All right, so the plan will be I'll figure out how the ending works. I'll, I'll investigate that as much as I can be comfortable with without spoiling anything else. Not that I think there's much more to spoil, and then we'll potentially go back in, and I think there's a higher difficulty that we might uh, have a run at there. But you guys, share your thoughts with me. This is the best time to let me know what you reckon and how you'd like to see it go forward with the series. Um... Uh, I'm not quite ready to retire it yet because uh, it would be it would be good to beat it since we came so close. Having said that, maybe people are sick of it. Maybe you don't want to see any more, and that's fine. So it's up to you. You have to let me know. I really need to get that feedback to know which way to go with this. All right, team. Thanks for joining me for this long playthrough, and hopefully it's the first of many on this game. Well, not the first, but you know what I mean. First sort of successful one. I'm calling this successful. It's close enough. All right, team. We might just leave it there for the time being. And I will catch you guys on the next one.